Sagittarius. It's me, Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to do um, kind of a daily energy for you guys. What is going on? Okay, I fed my tank. I got some McDonald's. I'm nice and fed. I'm not hangry. Um, I got my coffee. So let's get this cracking. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch for if you're dealing with Sagittarius. Um, I'm just going to do daily energy of what's going on where you're kind of at here today for the 19th to kind of see what's going on. Um, I just did a new video. I, I have it in the works of uploading right now. It's called Monday Messages for all 12 signs. I think that's going to be a new um, kind of like uh, episode of like a, a video. I can't even think what I'm saying. Like a video playlist. It's going to be like Monday Messages. Every Monday I'm going to try to film kind of like messages for you guys. I'm going to do that with your guys' reading today too. Get messages for you as well. And then if you watch that video and they kind of resonate with whatever comes out for you in this reading, then you can kind of resonate. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the whispers of the oracle here. See, or whis not whispers, wisdom of the oracle. Everything's pretty much when you get these decks of cards, everything's like the same. Okay, so anyways, we got higher power. Okay, so you guys are in your higher power today. You guys feel very like you're on the top of the world, like you can accomplish anything kind of energy. Okay, because then we have the observer. You're observing a lot as well as feeling blessed too. So number 49, 4, and 22. Okay, we also have breathe here in the reverse though. Okay, so you guys are kind of have, having a hard time. Maybe you feel like there's so much going on, so much to learn, to observe. You're kind of having a hard time like focusing or being where you're not getting yourself all stressed. Okay, but you are feeling blessed and you are observing things and in your higher power. Okay, so let's go ahead and get fortune reading cards. We got the moon here. Okay, in the full, you could be dealing with a Cancer or Aries here. With the moon, we have pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead. Okay, maybe a lot of things are kind of being concealed to you right now. As well as taking that chance with the full card. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous. Okay, it's never a dull moment in a Sagittarius reading. Some kind of Cancer card doesn't come out. Okay, we also have the Eagle. So you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Okay, so and then we have love after that. Okay, so soar towards your destiny, maybe in regards to love. Soar towards that new adventure with the sun after that. A lot of happiness. Okay, let's go ahead and see the romance cards. What else we have going on? Okay. All right, we have children in the reverse. Playfulness. Okay, this could be the one. It's safe for you to love. And then we have engagement in the reverse. So either you guys haven't got to that point of commitment yet, or you guys are just kind of playing, you know, having a fun time with somebody, just kind of taking it casual, but not getting too invested just yet. Okay, we do have chemistry in the reverse. Maybe you're trying to get to know each other a little bit better, trying to rebuild your chemistry because you feel like it's lost. You guys are trying to rebuild it with true love after that. Okay, children in the reverse could be a situation maybe you both are kind of, you know, not wanting to be like, you know, childish. You want to be more immature, Okay. So let's go ahead and get the epiphany deck here. See what else is going on. Okay, something about timing is kind of taking too long for something. So I don't know what situation you're in where timing's taking too long. Okay, stuck at a crossroad and love block. Okay, so it's like I feel like you feel like the timing's like almost out with somebody that you are kind of like in love with or somebody you have a thing with. Okay, you feel, stop kicking the dog. Stop. But it's like you're stuck at a crossroad. Okay, hidden desires, hidden intentions. Maybe you guys aren't completely honest for what you guys are wanting with each other. Because after that, we have planning for the future. Okay, and then healing from heartbreak. Taking lead and control. So maybe, like, this person has hidden, you know, things that they haven't told you. And you're kind of, like, stuck, not sure how this person feels about you. Feel like they're kind of closed off. They're not telling you emotionally how they feel. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some sign cards here. So we have the 8th house. That's Scorpio. Okay, we have Mars, physical energy, drive, strength. We got Gemini here. Let's get a couple more. Okay, we got Libra. We got the uh, planet of Pluto. Okay, we got the moon, so there's Cancer again and Capricorn. So some of our things not really, it's almost like you're wanting like a balanced, stable relationship with somebody, but you're not really, there's something that has to come to an end though, and it's like you're having to have some kind of completion with something definitely, something hidden. Maybe hidden intentions. Like, I feel, I feel like this person has a lot of hidden intentions with you and doesn't tell you sh straight on how they feel about you, how, like, much they desire you and, like, want you. Okay, but I feel like with the Gemini energy, there is a lot of, like, communication coming in. Okay? 
And a lot of healing, too, with Chiron, and there's Jupiter after that. So a lot of expansion, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do some me more messages of, like, songs and stuff. See what else is coming in for Sag. I'm going to do, like, six cards or as many as come that come out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. And then I'll do the tarot. And then from Aries to Pisces, how they currently are feeling about you or what they want to say to you. So let's get about six cards. Okay, so we have Nirvana. That's all keeps coming out. All apologies. Okay, one, two, three. Actually, I'll just go ahead and take all these because we might need them. So. We can build a future together is what came out here, as well as Aaliyah back and forth on the bottom. So that could be like however. Maybe you're like in a back and forth energy with this person. You guys are back and forth constantly. Not really sure where you stand with somebody. Okay, so we have all apologies. I feel drawn to you. You belong to me. Okay, sometimes the wrong ones are just what you need. The song Marry You by Bruno Mars. Okay, I got number four here. Okay, something about a Libra. Or it could have been, like, they could be a Libra or it could be, like, Libra season. We also have Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. It's a good song. Okay. Then the song, uh, Let's Get High by Dr. Dre and Snoop. Okay, so maybe you guys are reading a lot of smoking because tomorrow is 420. Yeah, tomorrow's 420. Do you know that? Like, no one's posted about 420. Like, what is going on? Not that I'm a big pothead or anything. I'm like, where's 420? Where's all the funny memes? Like, come on. Smoking this, drinking that, and getting it hose. <laughs> Okay, then we have Cracker, the song Low by Cracker. Okay, so that's about being stoned too, so you guys are going to be getting high and drunk. Okay, then we have Sunday Morning by No Doubt. Only Want to Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish, and then Live House, First Time. I love that song. So a lot about like feeling all like happy with somebody, but also having a good time and drinking and smoking and chilling. Okay, but the person wants to only, they only want to be with you, you can call me your fool. I only want to be with you. Okay, then the song Low by Cracker. Okay, Sunday morning. So there's all kinds of like energies here is what I'm seeing. There's a lot about, you know, things changing and trying to figure out where you guys are at with each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I'm going to do for each. I'm going to first start with a general reading. Then I'm going to do for if you're dating somebody or, you know, interested. And then if you're completely single with no... You know, with nothing, what I was coming in. So let's get one more shuffle for Sag. Okay. So it's just a general right now. And then I'll do if you're seeing somebody, interested in somebody, and then singles after that. All right. General reading is the High Priestess, Pisces energy, the Hane Man, Pisces energy again, and the Hermit Reverse Virgo. Okay, the Fool, taking new chances. But then we've got the Seven of Wands. It's like you're resisting new changes under that. Using your intuition, okay, about something here. Um, it's like you're feeling stuck, but it's like you know all the answers, or you feel like you've already, you know, know as much as you should with the hermit reverse. But it's like you're still trying to use your intuition whether or not to move forward. Okay, it's like you're kind of questioning whether or not you should take a new ch chance on somebody or something here. But the seven of wands, it's like you're kind of resisting it. Or you're scared to. And after that, we have the strength. So a lot of holding back. Okay, can we do an Aries? We have Pisces and Virgo here. So, okay, let's go ahead and do two more shuffles, and I'll clarify. A general reading could be for anything. It's like you're trying to just use your intuition, like what's the right thing to do. We had the Fool come out and the Lovers, so something about love here. Okay, let's get one more shuffle. Actually, I'll do like one more. See, I want to see if those cards come out, so I'll do one more shuffle. See if they come back out from the reading. All right, High Priestess. Okay, Four of Pentacles reverse. And the Six of Cups reverse. Something like you're trying to use your intuition whether you should let something go from your past or not. Something that keeps occurring in and out of your life in the past. With the Three of Pentacles and the Justice reverse, you feel like you want to get to a fair... It's like you, your mind's telling you kind of to like drop something and let it go, but it's also like you still kind of want it to, and you want things to get better. You want to have justification or at least... Leave on good terms with the situation here. Whether it be a job or something of your past. It's like, you know, like, the right thing to do is to kind of move on from it. But it's like, 
you're still kind of wanting to make things right. Okay, the hay man, uh, the hay man, we have the page of cups reverse. A lot of water energy in this. Eight of Pentacles. So something about like feeling stuck at your job, like feeling like you're gonna keep pushing forward, but there's a sense of feeling like you deserve an apology that you're not getting from somebody. And I feel like this is like finance related. I feel like you're stuck, not sure. How, like maybe if you want to keep putting the work in at your job or not. Like you feel like you deserve some kind of apology or some explanation or something here. Like somebody like is supposed to give you something and they haven't. With the hair fit, okay? Maybe you feel like it was a long term, long time coming. Maybe you feel like you. This could be work related. You feel like you've put in a lot of wisdom and put in a lot of time and effort here with the King of Pentacles and the hair fit. You feel like you put in a lot of time and energy into this job. Like you've maybe taught people a lot of things at this job and it's like you feel like you deserve something but things are kind of stagnant and stuck. Okay, let's get the Hermit reversed. It's almost like you kind of know how the situation's going to unfold. You have the Nine of Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords. It's like you... I don't think you're really having anxieties about it anymore, but it's like you're still stuck in your head about, like, how you feel. You feel stuck or trapped, like you just can't release something. Okay, but the strength. It's like you're still, like, holding on, scared. It's like you're holding back, like, scared to release something. Scared to heal and move on with the Ten of Swords. But the Tower's after that, so I feel like something's going to change here soon. Okay, if it's at your job or just in your life in general, there's going to be some changes. Okay, let's go ahead and see if you guys are kind of seeing somebody or interested in somebody. Let's go ahead and get... I'm just going to do five shuffles. That sounds like a good number. That um, YouTuber I watch, Rich Lop, he always does like five shuffles and they always turn out good. So, I'll just do five shuffles. <laughs> Maybe I'll have better luck. So. So, if you guys are kind of seeing somebody, what's going on? If you guys are seeing somebody or um, kind of interested then I'll be completely single after this okay, let's get one, I think one more shuffle and I lost track yeah I think I'm on five okay one more shuffle all right for Sagittarius okay four of wands oh my gosh so if you guys are kind of seeing somebody that four of wands one to slide right out you're gonna have like stability with somebody six of swords reverse someone you're not able to walk away from okay with the three of wands somebody that you know, you've been waiting for this moment with somebody. And that's why you haven't walked away. You just know, like, the moment's right. Okay, with the Hermit Reverse. Like, it's like you know this for sure. Okay, Ten of Swords Reverse. Okay, it's like you've moved on. You're healing from whatever pain happened in the past. Okay, the Nine of Wands Reverse. It's like you're open to this. Okay? It's like you're open and you're ready. It's like you've known all along, like, that this person was meant to be for you. And it's like you've been waiting for the right timing or the right, you know time in your life to be with this person okay because i feel like you haven't moved forward or walked away okay and look how happy they look in this card like they look so happy like oh my gosh like you know that they knew that this is like the right timing so i'm seeing a lot of good things if you guys are kind of seeing somebody or interested i feel like you know especially with the person you've been waiting for i feel like this is happening you know let's go ahead and get two more shuffles with this deck On a different note, have you seen where Brain's been drawing the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, characters? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Alright, let's get the Four of Wands. Okay, King of Wands, Reverse, and the Three of Cups. I feel like once you kind of come off, it's an energy of once, you know, because we have the Queen of Wands here in the moon. I feel like this person comes off kind of like they're hard to get they're not really as interested or it seems like they're not chasing you or determined to make this work but i feel like they still are they're still like want to have happy moments with you and be with you and it seems like they're kind of not really pushing you away but they're not really it doesn't seem like they're as you know like into this or passionate about this but i feel like they still are and i feel like you both are with each other with the queen of wands but then the moon after that so i feel like you're not really telling this person how you feel Okay, I feel like you're kind of concealing your emotions, not really telling them how you feel. You know, you're there, you know, you're willing to be, like, around them, but you're not really telling them all, like, how you feel, the nitty-gritty of how you feel. Okay? Get the Six of Swords Reverse. Why is that here for Sag and the person they're dealing with? Okay, Eight of Swords Reverse and the Four of Wands Reverse. So you're not wanting to feel stuck in this commitment, okay? You're wanting to maybe, like, in the past, you kept putting a lot of effort into this, okay? But you're having a hard time walking away from this, you know, commitment, because you know that it's there, but it's kind of right now, seems like it's kind of topsy-turvy, you're not really sure where it's headed, but you're trying to get out of your head about this, okay, you're trying to maybe, like, 
you know, it's like you're not completely moved on from it, but you're trying to, like, you know, focus on other things. But I feel like you still are stressing about it here with the Nine of Swords here, and then after that, the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, you could be feeling kind of exhausted or tired in this connection. Like, I've been the only one putting in the work. Okay, it's like you're not wanting to let this connection go, but you feel definitely a disconnect, okay? And it's like a lot of stress, a lot of, like, not... Maybe it, it wasn't as... It's not as strong as it used to be. But then we have the Page of Cups. I feel like they are coming back around. But the Six of Cups after that, okay? So I feel like this person is going to come back with an offer. Let's get the Three of Wands. Like, why was Sagittarius waiting so long? Okay, the Nine of Wands reversed and the Ace of Wands. This person wanted to wait... Because they just weren't ready yet to start this with the full in reverse. They weren't ready to take the sleep of faith. But now it's like once they broke down their walls and they feel like they can trust you and they're moved on from, you know, not feeling sheltered or like insecure. Now it's like they're going to start this passionate endeavor with you. What's that word? Endeavor? Endeavor, right? Yeah, endeavor. I feel like they're going to start something passionate, more passionate with you. It's going to be more, you know, it's like you never really fully walked away from it. But, you know, it's going to be more serious now not that it wasn't really serious to begin with but i feel like now with the four of wands it's actually going to be like you've been waiting for this to happen okay let's go ahead and do if you guys are single completely single what is coming in for sagittarius so if you guys aren't really seeing anybody you're not really interested in anybody okay let's get four more shuffles how do you like my british bag three more do three more shuffles. Two more for single Sag. Maybe. Let's get one more. One more shuffle for single Sagittarius. So you guys are completely single. What is coming in? Okay, the magician. So it's kind of like in your control. It could be a Gemini or somebody that you can control or have into your life. Someone you can manifest. With the seven of wands. Looks good. Page of swords. Someone that you are communicating with currently. Maybe someone you're currently talking to. But it's kind of just like a, you know, not really too serious. But I feel like you are really determined to make this connection work. You're really fighting for it. Okay. Or it could be the, either you're fighting or the person's resisting it. Something here. But the sun, there's a lot of happiness. Okay. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. There's a lot of happiness, but I feel like it's kind of an immature energy right now. You guys are very slow, you know, talking to this person. You can manifest them into your life, or it's like you kind of have the power or the upper hand. I say the upper hand, and then here he is with a hammer. <laughs> but it's kind of like you guys have the upper hand to make this work, okay? But I feel like it's all starting with a conversation. I feel like it's all starting with a conversation, though. A little bit of communication here and there. Okay, magician. All right, the justice could be a Libra or somebody that's, you know, willing to offer you something good here with the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that's willing to offer you something stable and long term, but they're slowly approaching it and coming towards you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn as well. Queen of Pentacles, they want to treat you like how you deserve. They want to nur nurture you and take care of you, and they feel like you deserve the best of things. All right, Seven of Wands. But it's like somebody's fighting for this or someone's re resisting it, one or the other. With the judgment, someone's get putting this a lot of thought with the sun. Okay, but someone's putting a lot of thought into this and maybe really working hard to make this happen. Okay, really fighting hard to make this connection work. Could be done with a Scorpio or a Leo. But I feel like somebody's scared. I feel like the one, either you or whoever this is, somebody's like scared and kind of resisting this and the other person's really working to make it work. Okay, page of swords. Okay, nine of swords. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating. Okay, it's like almost to the point where it's like making you anxious. Because you're not sure what to do. I feel like you're the one kind of resisting this. Because you want to make sure this person with the five of swords reversed is being honest with you and they're not hiding stuff. Okay, tower reversed. It's like you don't maybe even want to accept changes in your life as well. Maybe you guys enjoy being single and you're like, oh man, like, the truth. it's like the truth is setting you free with this. Like, oh shoot, like now if I'm... Where's this going to be headed if I actually take this serious? You know, like, where is this going to go? Because maybe you guys have, like, a fear of commitment or a fear of something, okay? And it's like you're kind of like, oh, no, like, what do I do? Could be doing definitely with Scorpio. I got Libra and um, Gemini and Leo here. But it's like you're kind of, like, wanting to make sure, like, you can trust this person that they're not playing games. But then you're also like, okay, well, what happens after this gets more serious? Am I going to be, like, an actual commitment? What am I going to do? 
Okay, so it's like you guys are kind of in this energy right now where you're like not sure what you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the zodiacs. I'm going to do from Aries to Pisces what they want to say to you, how they feel, or like even like little notes and stuff. Okay, like little hints. All right, so, and I'm going to do, like, the other cards to tie it into as well. So let me go ahead and kind of do these in order. So what is it? Oh, I like that, yeah. I'm just putting these in order. <laughs> I'm putting these in order and then... Okay, so... If you guys are dealing with an Aries Sagittarius, let's see kind of some messages they want to say to you. Let me get these cards where they're kind of fixed. Yeah. Sorry, guys, this video is going to be kind of long. I'm making sure these cards are all... Okay. So, let's see what this Aries wants to say to you. Sag, just Aries that you might be dealing with. Or it could be an Aries coming towards you this, you know, here soon. That could be it as well. So we have <clears throat> the song Fallout Boy. Sugar, we're going down. So am I more than you bargained for yet? Okay, we got Eminem. Love is just a word, but you bring it definition. Okay, and then Telephone by Lady Gaga and uh, Beyonce. What I'm seeing, this person loves you, but maybe... Um, Maybe, they, like, they aren't really good at, like, answering their phone calls. And it's, like, you're kind of just, like, okay, well, you didn't answer my phone call. I feel like this person does have a lot of feelings for you, but it's, like, maybe they're bad at answering phone calls or they don't like to answer their phone or talk on the phone. And it's, like, you're kind of just doing more, like, what you kind of want to do. Okay, I want to kiss you madly on the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and see. So, something with Mercury. Maybe you guys, like I said, maybe there's not good communication between you guys. Okay, because it's like maybe they don't answer your phone calls. Could be, they could also have Gemini or Virgo in their chart. I also got Chiron, healing power. Okay, so it's like you guys teach each other, you know, how to heal. Two maybe you guys taught each other how to heal. With the 12th house, a lot of Pisces energy as well. Okay, I also got Vesta. So the goddess within. Okay, so maybe something about dreams. Maybe you guys dream a lot about each other, about how to heal each other. As well as like maybe communication, like I said, is kind of a factor. Okay, let's go ahead and get... Or actually, I want to do the epiphany cards. Yeah, I'm going to do the epiphany. Let's see. Okay, still working on it. So you guys are still working on the connection, but there's a lot of, like, problems with communication. Dark night of the soul. A lot of depression because of this. But you feel like this is never going to end, though. Like, you and this love with this person, you don't want it to end. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and do if you guys are dealing with a Taurus. Okay, if you guys are doing the Taurus, let's go ahead and see what's the current energies with that. Okay, these two want to come out. So let's see. So please only love me. And then I still dream about you. On the bottom, I want to kiss you madly again. Let me try to get a couple more to come out. That wasn't really much ex explanations here okay don't speak by no doubt came out and then nothing compares to you okay on the bottom again this love is all that matters okay so this person what I'm seeing is that they kinda don't want you to speak they want to tell you how they feel okay they want to tell you that they only want you to see them or be with them they dream about you and nobody else compares to you okay Let's go ahead and see some more stuff here like factors okay eighth house okay so, Scorpio energy, transformations, and Mars. So, physical energy, drive. Maybe you guys feel like there's, like it's, maybe it happened too quickly, this relationship, and you feel like it's kind of coming to an end, or it's not as, like, passionate as it should be. Well, there's something about not feeling as, yeah, maybe it's like you're focusing on yourself, Sag, with the Aries, the first house, that's about self. So, you, maybe you care too much what other people think about you with this person. Because then we have Neptune, okay? Maybe it was all a fantasy. 
I don't want to get this in my head, but maybe this was all like a fantasy to you. Maybe this person, this Taurus, this was like a fantasy of somebody from your past or some 11th house. Okay, somebody you know from like social circle. So it could have had to do with like friends or somebody you've known for a while because of friends. Okay, but it's like it was kind of like somebody you're longing for. It was like an illusion and a fantasy, but now it's like you're not really sure like how you feel about this connection. Okay, so I don't know why I got that. That was weird. I feel like you're kind of just like it was cool like in theory, but now that you have it, you're kind of like, I don't know. Okay, so let's see the epiphany cards. So we have social media got me in trouble. So something with social media. Maybe this person caught you talking to other people on social media. Yeah, some of that because the truth will set you free. Take control and lead. Healing from heartbreak and planning for the future. Okay, so maybe you guys are planning for the future with this person. But there's something you've seen from social media. Either they saw it or you saw it. Okay. But there's something about social media. Maybe they saw people that you have on your social media or something weird like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do, if you guys are dealing with a Gemini, let's get some messages if you guys are dealing with a Gemini. Quite a few came out. Okay, the song by Mariah Carey came out, we belong together. So this Gemini person feels like you guys belong to each, each other here. Okay, something about the summer, okay, maybe you guys met this person during the summer, okay. I get jealous over you. Or they could, like, have, like, you know, something about this. Yeah, because I'm reading for a Gemini, so it could have something to do with the summers, like, when you met this person. I get jealous over you. I can't get over you. Okay, we also have super cut by Lord. Maybe you make this person kind of question their self, because they feel like they do everything right, but it's like, why don't you want to be with them, you know? Also, your eyes are so beautiful. Okay, something with the earth energy. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or they could be that kind of energy. They could be very stable and long term. Or want something like that with you. Okay, also pretty Ricky on the hotline. I said I want to talk dirty to you, baby, on the hotline. This person kind of is a little freak. If I want to be honest, this person's kind of a freak. But they also, I don't feel like it's just that. I feel like this person does really like you. They feel like they question their self. Maybe they have bad self-esteem. And they always question their self. Like, why you don't want to be with them? You guys should be together. Okay, they get jealous over you. Your eyes are beautiful. They can't get over you. Okay, they do have some, like, you know, dirty thoughts about you. But I feel like mostly they want to take care of you. They want to be with you. And it kind of hurts them that you guys aren't together. Okay, or if you don't feel the same way. So let's go ahead and get some more stuff here to be a factor. Okay, so Pluto. Okay, maybe they feel like this is... So, yeah, it does smell good. So maybe they feel like there's a, a change in your guys' like energy together with the Pluto card. Also Mars, okay, maybe it like it fizzled, like it, it started off real hot and heavy and then now it kind of fizzled out. Okay, maybe it's like a very quick thing with the sun, okay, but I feel like there's a lot of happiness between you guys, or you make each other happy, but it's almost like something's kind of ending with Mercury too. Maybe you guys don't have a lot of communication, you guys need to have more communication. With the 12th house, it could be a fantasy, okay. Maybe you feel like this is kind of a fantasy, this person, or they feel that way about you, but you guys need more communication. It's almost like it started off like very like fast and quick and then it kind of ended real quickly too. But there's a lot of happiness between them. And this person like has good thoughts about you. It's just it's kind of sad because I feel like you don't want to be with them. Okay, twin flame union. Okay, deep spiritual awakening. Spiritual work and self-discovery. That could be it. They could be with the Pluto. They could be putting an end to like their ways. I feel like this person is kind of depressed. That looks really good. They could be like putting an end to... Like, how they feel, like, you know, negatively. They could have a lot of depression. Yeah, too much to think about. Fighting to emotionally detach and powerless. So, they feel like they are in control in this situation. Okay? With lurking in the shadows. I feel like this person still keeps tabs on you or they still watch your social media. But, um, I feel like they, it just it kind of upsets them that you guys aren't, like, where you guys wanted to be with this person. Okay? Or they wanted to be this with you and you guys aren't there. Jeez. You're going to be an artist. Yeah, like he's me. a good drawer. Okay, if you guys are doing the cancer, let's see. Like me, if you guys are doing the cancer, let's see what's going on. Like what's coming out for you if you're doing the cancer? Ah! Oh, my cards fell. We have a couple. I'll get a few more ones. Okay, we have nine here. So, something new with nine. Okay, Frank Sinatra learning the blues. Some of, this person's a smoker, like sm like smoking cigarettes, trying to forget you, but they can't. That's what I'm feeling. 
Okay, we also have the weekend wicked games. So it's like this person wants you to tell you that they want you to tell them that you love them only for one night, even though you don't love me. So this person wants you to like love them. Okay, also something to do with February. And then I love your smile, okay? Or you guys can be feeling that way about this person or they feel that way about you. Okay, I also have but they feel like you can't be tamed. Okay. Okay, so if you're doing the cancer, this person feels like which is kind of ironic because that's Miley Cyrus son and I am a Sagittarius and so is she. So this person feels like you can't be tamed, that you're kind of crazy and wild. Okay, but they really like want, you know, maybe they try to been they've been trying to forgive like forget something about you or trying to forget you, but they can't. Okay, they love your smile, they think about your smile, maybe. They want you to tell you that they, that either they want you to tell them that you love them or that they love you. Something to do with February and the number nine. That could be a significance, okay? Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more here. You guys are dealing with cancer. Yeah, Jupiter. Okay, so Jupiter. So that's about like having like expansion, okay? There's, there's a lot of expansive energy here, Saturn. But trying to be like learning from wisdom on this. Look, we even have the Cancer card come out too. So it's like they want to have like a stability with you. They want to grow with you is what I'm saying. Have expansion. They want to grow and have something stable with the moon. But I feel like this person doesn't explain their feelings or they conceal how they actually feel. Okay, so this person, they conceal like how they feel about you, but they really want something long term with you. Okay, maybe they even want to have a fan with you, but they kind of close it off and don't say how they feel because they don't, maybe they're embarrassed about their emotions. Let me see what, these cards keep hitting the floor. Yeah, we got true love stories never end. That flew out for cancer. Okay, let's go ahead and get a couple more. Okay, so guilt for past actions and behaviors. This cancer you're dealing with, they feel bad about things that they did to you in the past or the way that they did things with you. So mirroring, okay? I feel like you do mirror each other. You guys have a lot of, like, similar interests. You guys are kind of alike in so many ways. But they don't want to make any more bad decisions. What? It looks good. Okay, and then every love song sounds like us. So maybe they listen to a lot of music that you guys listen to and you hang out. Or, or like, they, like, tie in music to, like, with your guys' connection. But they feel like there's a struggle here in this connection. Or they feel out of power, like there's nothing else they can do. Okay, but I feel like they don't want things to end, though. Okay? If you guys are dealing with a Leo, let's get some messages. I'm going to do Pisces reading next if you're interested. Okay, don't speak by no doubt. Hey, sis, I'm going to do your reading next. Hey, sis. You're welcome. Okay, I keep having cards fly on the floor. I don't, I'm too lazy to pick them up. Okay, you bribed my day. So if you're doing a Leo. Whoa! 